Markets are down, but unemployment remains at its lowest level in nearly half a century. Let's bring in Kevin Hassett. He's White House Council of Economic Advisors Chairman. Sir, thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let me start with that wage growth issue because that is one thing um, that took a while to really pick up. We've seen, though, sure. an annualized rate of 4.9 percent, 3.2, 3.2, 3.7. That's over the last four months. Mm -hmm. Looking like, um, you know, very positive. The only challenge with that is that it could be a harbinger of inflation. Do you worry about that? Oh, uh, you know, in this case, no, because what's happening is that there's been a, a capital spending surge. Capital spending drives up productivity, and that drives up wages. And it's actually something that I was going to disagree with the previous discussion that, you know, we're starting to see there's really big positive news today in retail sales and industrial production. And so what we're seeing is those wage increases are feeding through into economic activity. Uh, the Atlanta Fed's GDP now went from 2.4% for the fourth quarter to 3% today because of the big news. And I actually think the 3% number might be a little bit low. So this idea that growth is slowing going into next year is actually not super in the data right now. How do you explain that there aren't more people coming in off the bench? I mean, as you <laughs> see that wage inflation pick up and you see unemployment at a historic low, you would expect more people to come back into the uh, into the workforce. Do you well, worry that there are people that are permanently unemployed because they don't have the right skill match? Well, well you, you know, you asked exactly the right question, but but if you uh, go to the CEA Twitter account, you can see we, we put up at the last uh, jobs day a chart that showed that 73.5% of the people that were hired in the last month came from out of the labor force. And so what's happening is people are getting off the bench and coming back in right now. Now, you're right to worry going forward for the growth outlook because it could be at some point that you get down to like everybody who might come back does. And at that point, growth might slow because we can't find workers. Yeah, uh, you mentioned um, retail sales. Obviously, that's huge this time of year. I mean, this is when everybody makes their money. How strong do you think they'll be? Do you want to make a prediction? Oh, yeah. So, so I'm just saying that, that I, I think that everything that I'm hearing from talking to people is that the, the consumption in the fourth quarter is really, really going strong. You know, we talked to business leaders and they're, they're basically talking about a blockbuster year. And so right now, uh, the CEA forecast for fourth quarter consumption is that it's going to be up about 4 uh, percent, real terms, 4 percent. Mm -hmm. And that and that's one reason why we're so optimistic about GDP growth. And that's based on a lot of analysis, a lot of existing data. Well, then let me ask you the big question. What about the market? I mean, down another mm -hmm. 500 points today. We're looking at the Dow and the S&P in negative territory for the year. I know the president has always used that as a measuring stick for, you know, mm -hmm. how, how his presidency is going. It's supposed to be a forward indicator of what's to come. Um, you know, I mean, measuring mm -hmm. all of those things, then it, it would be really negative. What do you say about that? Right. Well, it's really hard to say why the market did anything today, but uh, I could say that over the medium term, what matters is economic growth. And if we have economic growth and profit growth, the market will be just fine. The but thing it's that I think has been year, driving. Though. Yeah, the thing that I think was driving the market this year is if you go back to the spring, everybody thought that the global economy was booming. Now everybody agrees that the U.S. is growing at a very fast clip, but we've downgraded our forecast for Europe, and China's looking like what you might call for them a, a recession. You know, their markets are down about 33 percent for the year. Their retail sales are at a 25-year low in terms of growth rate. And so, and so the global economy, the global economic outlook has a big impact on U.S. markets because U.S. multinationals make profits everywhere. And so I think that might be really the main story of the market this year. When you you talk to the president, is he bugged about the market? I mean, I would bet he is. You know, I was speaking to the president today, and he was really euphoric over the really strong economic numbers we got today. I mean, if you go down into the details of industrial production, you know, I, I, anyway, I, I think it's a very, very strong day. Good answer, uh, Kevin Hassett. Yeah. Thank you for Thank coming you. on. I hope you'll come back soon.